हेलो वेलकम अगेन वी आर सोल्विंग गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एरोस्पेस इंजीनियरिंग पेपर क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी इज ए रोटेशनल फिलोसफी फील्ड इन एन एयर फ्लो इज गिवन एज बी वेक्टर बी इजिकल टू ए वाई आई प्लस बी एक्स विद ए इजिकल टू टेन पर सेकेंड बी इजिकल टू ट्वेंटी पर सेकेंड द एयर डेंसिटी इज वन पॉइंट जीरो किलोग्राम पर मीटर क्यूब एंड द प्रेशर एट एक्स वाई जीरो मीटर जीरो मीटर इज हंड्रेड एम पी नेगलेक्टिंग ग्रेविटी एट एक्स वाई इजिकल टू सिक्स मीटर एंड एट मीटर इज डैश के पी राउंड ऑफ टू द नियरेस्ट इजिकल सो एक्सलेशन इन एक्स डायरेक्शन इज ए एक्स इजिकल टू डी यू बाई डी कर ली बाई कर लिया कर लिया प्लस कर ली बाई कर कर ली बाई बाई Curly U by curly T. So that is the acceleration in that direction. Uh, we will find out the inertia force, then we find out the pressure gradient. Okay. So uh, now curly U U is your this quantity A by. So there is no x in it, so it is zero. Now U uh, curly by curly by is your A, and curly by by curly T is your B. Uh, that is B x. So that will be A B x, and it is your zero. So A X is your A B X, and in y direction we have A Y. Adio, curly by curly x, curly x by curly t, curly by curly by curly by by curly t, and curly by curly t. So curly v by curly x is uh, curly v by curly x is your b. Okay, so that is b, and curly x by curly t, curly x by curly t is your u. That is a by so it will be b a by okay and this will be zero and this will be zero okay so this is acceleration in y direction this is acceleration in x direction okay now using Euler's equation in x direction so it will be rho a x minus curly t by curly x that is pressure gradient okay and uh, this is a b x so curly t by curly x will be your uh, put in the value of a and b a is ten b is twenty so that will be And rho is one, so that will be curly t by curly x will be just ten into twenty x or curly t x is equal to two hundred curly x x integrating and putting a limit so that will give the change in pressure uh, in uh, x direction and uh, uh, this will be uh, uh, here the limit should be for x we have to find out the pressure at x is six m y uh, eight so it will be Uh, taking it as six and limit taking as six and y is equal to zero. So that will be twenty x square by two and put a limit with that uh, curly t x curly that delta x as thirty six hundred or minus thirty six hundred. Okay. So uh, that pressure change is uh, minus thirty six hundred in x direction. Similarly, in y direction. We have rho a by is equal to minus curly by curly by. So that is ten into twenty a into y or minus curly by curly by. So that will be uh, curly t minus curly b two hundred by d by curly by. So delta t by uh, p by is equal to minus two hundred by square by two. And now the limit is a to zero. So that is curly t by minus hundred. Into sixty four, that is minus six sixty four. So the change in pressure or decrease in pressure in y direction is minus sixty four hundred, and uh, in x direction will be minus three sixty four. So net change in uh, pressure from zero to that x is equal to six, and y is equal to eight is just this. Taking negative sign because uh, both are negative. Okay, so that's why the pressure will decrease. So that is minus ten thousand pascals. So at uh, uh, zero zero the pressure is hundred uh, thousand pascal and at this minus ten thousand. So uh, net pressure at six eight is ninety kp. So answer is ninety kp. Next, consider a circulation distribution over a finite ring given by the equation. Circulation y, circulation not. One plus minus two y by b. If zero, uh, if y is very much zero to b by b, and similarly this is 
this equation is then uh, minus b by 2 to y, y is varying from minus b by 2 to 0. So the wing span is wing span b is 10 meter, the maximum circulation is tau naught is uh, 20 meter square per second. Density of air 1.2 kilogram per meter square per meter cube and the free stream speed is 80 meter per second. The lift over the wing is dash Newton rounded up to the nearest integer. So taking this y uh, between b to b by 2, so that is uh, here the as you can see the variation of the uh, circulation is linear with maximum being uh, tau naught and minimum being uh, zero. So average value of circulation, average circulation is tau naught by 2. Okay. Similarly, uh, minus in minus b by 2 to 0, the maximum value is uh, tau naught and minimum value is uh, 0. Or here again the average value is tau naught. So from uh, in this region the average is this, in this, this average is this. So taking the mean value of uh, all this, so the lift will be rho b pretty b tau mean. Okay, because this is the mean value of circulation, total width is, uh, if you take top and bottom, minus b by 2 and uh, plus b by 2, then the width is b. Okay, so the left will be given as rho, speed, width is b, tau mean, so that will be 9600. Okay, that is 20 by 2. Tau node is 20, and this is 20 by 2, this b is 10, b in is 80 and rho is 1.2 so that is 9600 mm -hmm. next consider a solid cylinder housed inside another cylinder as shown in the figure the radius of the inner cylinder is 1 meter and height is 2 meter the gap between cylinders is 5 mm and is filled with a fluid viscosity 10 to minus 4 pascal second the inner cylinder is rotating at a a constant angular speed of 5 mm per second while the outer cylinder is stationary. Friction at the bottom surfaces can be ignored. Velocity profile in the vertical gap between cylinders can be assumed to be linear. The driving moment required for rotating motion of inner cylinder is dash Newton meter rounded up to the surfaces. So this is 1 meter, this is 5 mm, this is your uh, rotation, this is height of 2 meters, and this is. Uh, inner cylinder is rotating and outer cylinder is uh, stationary ok so uh, as the radius of the inner cylinder is 1 meter and rotation uh, angular velocity is 5 meter per second so velocity of inner cylinder is omega r that is 5 meter per second and outer cylinder is fixed so velocity at the of the outer cylinder is 0 so applying Newton's law uh, for this fluid uh, that is in the gap that is 5 mm and the velocity variation is v to 0 so applying Newton plus tau is equal to mu v minus uh, naught by t 5 minus uh, velocity is 5 meter per second and this gap is 5 by 1000 and viscosity is minus 4 so tau becomes 1 by 10 Newton per meter and the shear force is uh, tau into area 1 by 10 into pi into 2 into 2 because diameter is 2 pi dl is um, the area on which the, that shear stress is acting. So, and so uh, the shear force is uh, 1 by 10 pi into 2 into 2, that is 4 pi by 10. And the torque is uh, force by force into radius, that is 1, that is 1.256 meter. One side is 1.256 meter. 